How many times have you gone on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and seen these insane transformations of skinny dudes getting jacked? Or even overweight people losing like 50 to 100 pounds and having these crazy body transformations? If you have the same starting point as me, you probably don't relate to either of those transformations because most people don't start off skinny or fat, they're skinny fat. So what is skinny fat? According to Google, skinny fat is a term that refers to having a relatively high percentage of body fat and a low amount of muscle mass, despite having a normal BMI. Being skinny fat also increases your risk of type two diabetes, heart disease, and high cholesterol. So basically it just means that you look skinny or normal in a t-shirt, but whenever you take that shirt off, you look a little bit chubby, don't have a lot of muscle, and just look fat. And I'm not talking about being morbidly obese. I'm talking about that stereotypical 20 year old guy who wears oversized t-shirts, takes off his shirt, and then has a 40 year old man gut. But why listen to me about this? My starting point was a stereotypical skinny fat build at just 15 years old. I had a suboptimal diet, had no idea what to do in the gym and played school sports. I decided it was time for a change and start counting my calories, doing a five by five powerlifting program and eating massive amounts of protein. And by 16, I looked like this. I did a slight cut, which then led to a slight bulk and finally was out of my skinny fat stage or so I thought. What happened next was one of the worst periods of my life. When lockdown started, I found myself working out less and less. Gyms closed, the only human interaction I had was through Xbox, and I completely lost all of my motivation. I fell back into my old eating habits of pizza, ice cream, fast food. And before I knew it, I was back at square one, skinny fat. Something I'll never forget is one of the first times after lockdown, I went to go play basketball with my friends. I took off my shirt and someone said, Hey bro, what happened to your body? The last time anyone had ever seen me with my shirt off, I was shredded, muscular, confident, and now I was just this kind of chubby, flabby, pasty dude. But turns out that was just the motivation that I needed. Since I was more on the skinnier side this time around, I decided to do a six month body recomp that turned into a bulk with about a 300 calorie surplus, getting all the way up to 195 pounds from my starting point of 182 pounds. I then did my first ever real cut where I did a 500 calorie deficit for 12 weeks going down to 163 pounds, the most shredded I've ever been. From there, I reverse dieted and bulked up again and took it a little bit too hard, chasing deadlift PRs, and alas, I ended up like this. So I wouldn't necessarily consider myself skinny fat at this point, more like kind of a jacked fat. I looked strong and had some good vascularity still, but when I took my shirt off, I looked like this. Luckily, this was all calculated and I knew that I wanted to do a 16 week, very slow cut, and these were my results. So clearly I've made some mistakes along the way, but through years and years of research, I finally have figured out how to break the skinny fat cycle and maintain a good physique year round. Let's start off with dieting. I think bulking and cutting for people starting off skinny fat just leads to a cycle of complacency in your physique. Yes, if you are an extremely skinny individual, then it is good to be in that large calorie surplus, but for most of us, that just doesn't work. I want you to look in the mirror right now and decide if you're more on the skinny side or more on the fat side. If you're more on the skinny side, then you will start in a 200 to 300 calorie surplus. And then if you're on the fat side, you will start in a 200 to 300 calorie deficit. Just in case you don't know what that means, a surplus of calories means you're eating more than your maintenance level and a deficit in calories means you're eating less than your maintenance level, which hence would mean you would lose weight, surplus, gain weight. From what I've learned, it's really beneficial to do these slight surpluses or deficits to body recomp. Once you have achieved a good amount of muscle and strength or low level of body fat, that's when it's time to reverse that and then do a slight deficit or surplus. Again, just the opposite. In terms of macros, I keep it pretty simple. Once I set my calorie goal, then I have one gram of protein per pound of body weight, around 0.4 to 0.6 grams of fat per pound of body weight, and then the rest carbs. I also eat about 80% clean foods and then 20% whatever I want. And then bi-weekly, which just means twice a month, I have a day where I go about five to 600 calories over my normal calorie goal. So this is a clean eating, if it fits your macros, hybrid approach that in my opinion is super sustainable for anyone. Nothing is extreme, you shouldn't feel starving or uncomfortably full. In terms of the gym, there really isn't one right way to train. I'd suggest if you're a complete beginner, check out the Blaha 5x5 program. It's really good to build a solid foundation. If you've been training for more than a year, then I'd go for either an upper lower split 
or push pull legs. Those are two really popular ones and that I have used. The biggest thing is to make sure that you switch up your training and don't do the same thing every single time you go to the gym. I did the same push pull leg split for two years straight and it wasn't until I started changing up my exercises, my rep ranges, and just my split in general that I really started to see results. I found that every three to four months is a good sweet spot to be switching things up. If you really want to build muscle, stick to the basics at first with squat, bench, and deadlift. And then if you want to try out different bodybuilding style programs, you can do that just make sure that you have variety. In terms of cardio, it is a great weight loss tool, but I also just think overall it will make you feel better. If you are starting in that surplus, I'd suggest doing 10 to 20 minutes of cardio a day, something low impact like inclined walking. And then if you're starting in that slight deficit, then 20 to 40 minutes a day and adjust accordingly. If you look at my progress more recently, you'll notice that I'm consistently making gains all while staying lean. The way you do this is once you get to your desired body fat percentage and physique by doing what I've already talked about, start at your maintenance calories, add in 50 a week, and make sure you're gaining no more than three pounds a month. You'll slowly raise your metabolism and be able to eat more food while staying lean and building muscle. If you do that and follow the other principles I've already said, then you'll be golden. Everything you do in terms of diet and training should be adaptive, so what works for me might not work for you and vice versa, but use this video as a guideline. Take my own personal experience and use my knowledge to help break the skinny fat cycle to improve your overall health and your physical appearance. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Comment below any thoughts, questions, concerns. Um, you can also always DM me on my Instagram at justin.cup for more personal guidance or just to say what's up. If you are new here, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Peace out.